There are lots of problems, aren't there, in the world today? Problems, problems, problems. When I first, uh, a long time ago, when I felt I'd be able to do something with my life rather than just be a selfish guy that I, that I was in many ways, I, uh, I joined the social care team and we all sat round and there were people sat about, there were social workers, there was uh, uh, nurses, there was, uh, uh, you know, lots of people from the social care world. And we all went round the, uh, the uh, introducing ourselves and round the, the room and asking ourselves, uh, giving a bit of details about ourselves, and we all came up with lots of problems, but the woman at the end came and said, who was doing the seminar, said, what's, well, she wanted to know what the solution was. And that's the most important question. What is the answer? You know, people say, you know, they've got lots of questions about life, they've got lots of problems in life. You know, some people say mother-in-laws are a problem, aren't they? You know, take my mother-in-law for instance. Well, take my mother-in-law, yeah, please do. You know, every, every summer, my mother-in-law used to come to visit us at our house. This year we're going to do something completely different, we're going to let her in. <laughs> but seriously folks, we're on a serious message today. Uh, what is the answer? People are asking that question. Wherever I go, and I'm going to the streets a lot talking to people, and lots of people say, what's the answer? Binge drinking, uh, society broke, breaking down, marriage is breaking down. What is the answer? Now, some people, some people, they say the answer is this. Nobody from Earth, they all get it wrong. I used to paint this, I used to paint... I painted outside the National Gallery. I painted the outside. Now some people say the answer is the word. Credentials, don't you? Everybody needs credentials now. When I was a boy, if you could do the job, that was it. They took you on. But now you need credentials. You need bits of paper to tell you how great you are. And, uh, you know, for all our learning, there's nothing wrong with learning. Tony Blair's mantra. Remember Tony Blair's mantra? It's gone now. You can all relax. You know, Tony Blair's mantra was education, education, education. Yet for all our education, we have more unsolved problems than we have ever had. Isn't that true? Somebody nod, yeah? Why do you agree with me? But you know, something that education can do, it can give us knowledge, but knowledge is no good unless we apply that knowledge. And it's wisdom that we need. Wisdom is applied knowledge. So we can be full of head knowledge, but all that does for us is this. It can make us into a big fat eye. You know, eye in the middle, selfishness. We get big headed. Everybody's known that, people that think they know everything. My son, when he was 18, he thought he knew everything. Yeah? And so did I when I was that age, and you might think that you know everything, but we don't know everything. There's lots of things, mysteries of life, that we have not a clue about. So it can turn us into an eye. And that's one of the main problems, folks, in the world. The eye. The eye in me, the eye in you. It's what fragments society, isn't it? Other people say... So the answer is 
You who's at the church yesterday? Get more money. That's one more. The only problem I have with money is this. I haven't got enough of it. That's my problem. But you know, money doesn't solve problems either. Does it? Some of the richest people in the world. Elvis Presley, before he died, they said to Elvis, some of you old enough to remember Elvis. I remember my grandmother telling me about him. Yeah. But Elvis said, they said to Elvis, Elvis, you've got fame, you've got money, you've got, you've got uh, everything you need in this world. Are you happy? And he said, no, I'm the most miserable devil on earth. And Jay Gould, one of the richest millionaires or billionaires in America, quite a few years ago, my, my era, yeah, they asked him the same, are you happy? And he said, no, money can't buy you peace of mind. It can buy lots of things. We're the arch materialists, aren't we? But are we happy? We buy things, you know, DVDs, TVs, all these things, and the next week we're out buying something else. Because ultimately, we're not just flesh and bone. There's something with else within us. We're a spiritual being, the good book says. And chucking our life full of things don't satisfy us. I should know, I've tried it for 30 odd years of my life. So money doesn't satisfy. And you know, money divides us. It does, doesn't it? Have you ever thought of how money divides us? You know, when people die, your relatives die, you've got a rich granny. I wish I had a rich granny. <laughs> but you know, you get somebody rich and they die and these relatives come around. And the first thing they do is an argument, a big punch of who gets the telly, who gets the house, you know, and, and everybody's fighting and struggling one another. So money divides us. It puts us man against man, woman against woman, father against son, son against daughter, you know, daughter against mother. It divides, it fragments society. Other people believe. society and start again. You know the Marxists, we don't hear much about the Marxists now, the communists, now the communist system's come down, but the Marxists, that's what their philosophy was. Well, we'll burn society, we'll blow it up, and we'll start again. The modern day Robin Hood will take from the rich and will give to the poor, yeah? But by violent means. That was a Marxist philosophy. But you know, Che Guevara, you probably heard of Che Guevara in the 60s, Citizen Smith, the television program, Che Guevara, you know, the arch rebel. I was that, and I used to follow him, he was a great guy, and I used to think, uh, and, and, and he said about Che Guevara was this, Che Guevara, when he died, he was Fidel Castro's right hand man, you know, but when he went to Bolivia to foster revolution there and bring down the government, he got shot, poor guy. You know, and that's what you know, normally happens when you come up against authority. Yep. They eventually get you, like they did with Ned Kelly in Australia. But you know, Jake Guevara said this on his deathbed, his confession. He said, "I've fought all my life for the violent overthrow of society, but I've come to this conclusion that to try and change society without changing the heart of man is doomed to failure." How sad that he should be shot and come to that place before he realised that. Now folks, we can realise that today. You know, we can have all this learning, but we, and the, the, the good book says that we are always learning, but never coming to a knowledge of the truth.